Hi. This is the Bible reading for April 13th from the One Year Bible for Kids Challenge Edition. Solomon is king. King David was getting old, and the Israelites wondered who should be the next king. Would Solomon become king like David had promised, or would Adonijah take over? Bathsheba bowed down before the king. What can I do for you? He asked her. She replied, My lord, you made a vow before the Lord your God when you said to me, Your son Solomon will surely be the next king and will sit on my throne. But instead, Adonijah has made himself king, and my lord the king does not even know about it. He has sacrificed many cattle, fattened calves, and sheep, and he has invited all the king's sons to attend the celebration. He also invited Abiathar the priest and Job, the commander of the army. But he did not invite your servant Solomon. And now, my lord the king, all Israel is waiting for you to announce who will become king after you. Then King David ordered, Call Zadok the priest, Nathan the prophet, and Benah son of Jehoiada. When they came into the king's presence, the king said to them, Take Solomon and my officials down to Jeon Spring Solomon is to ride on my own mule. There Zadok the priest and Nathan the prophet are to anoint him king over Israel. Blow the ram's horn and shout, Long live King Solomon. Then escort him back here, and he will sit on my throne. He will succeed me as king, for I have appointed him to be ruler over Israel and Judah. Amen. Benah son of Jehoiada replied. May the Lord, the God of my lord the king, decree that it happen. And may the Lord be with Solomon as he has been with you, my lord the king, and may he make Solomon's reign even greater than yours. So Zadok the priest, Nathan the prophet, Benah son of Jehoiada, and the king's bodyguard took Solomon down to Jeon Spring, with Solomon riding on King David's own mule. There Zadok the priest took the flask of olive oil from the sacred tent and anointed Solomon with the oil. Then they sounded the ram's horn and all the people shouted, Long live King Solomon! And all the people followed Solomon into Jerusalem, playing flutes and shouting for joy. The celebration was so joyous and noisy that the earth shook with the sound. Adonijah and his guests heard the celebrating and shouting just as they were finishing their banquet. When Job heard the sound of the ram's horn, he asked, What's going on? Why is the city in such an uproar? And while he was still speaking, Jonathan son of Abiathar the priest arrived. Come in, Adonijah said to him, for you are a good man. You must have good news. Not at all. Jonathan replied. Our Lord King David has just declared Solomon king. The king sent him down to Jeon Spring with Zadok the priest, Nathan the prophet, and Benah son of Jehoiada, protected by the king's bodyguard. They had him ride on the king's own mule, and Zadok and Nathan have anointed him at Jeon Spring as the new king. They have just returned, and the whole city is celebrating and rejoicing. That's what all the noise is about. What's more, Solomon is now sitting on the royal throne as king. And all the royal officials have gone to King David and congratulated him, saying, May your God make Solomon's fame even greater than your own, and may Solomon's reign be even greater than yours. Then the king bowed his head in worship as he lay in his bed, and he said, Praise the Lord, the God of Israel, who today has chosen a successor to sit on my throne while I am still alive to see it. Then all of Adonijah's guests jumped up in panic from the banquet table and quickly scattered. Adonijah was afraid of Solomon, so he rushed to the sacred tent and grabbed onto the horns of the altar. There was a close contest for who would be the next king. Adonijah appointed himself king, but he was neither David's choice nor God's choice. Even though Adonijah had big plans, he couldn't change God's plan to make Solomon king. No matter what people try to do. God's plan will always win. Ask him to show you what he has planned for you. Psalm 33 10-11 The Lord frustrates the plans of the nations and thwarts all their schemes. But the Lord's plans stand firm forever. His intentions can never be shaken. And that's our Bible reading for today. Bye!